Good evening, YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Shop Talk with Brett. This is Brett coming at you tonight with a little review and demonstration of a uh, little product I just picked up from Amazon. We are looking at the Olight Arkfeld Pro Rechargeable EDC Flashlight. This has three different light sources. You have white light, you have a green laser, and you also have UV. Um, a friend of mine, when I was at the OSSB reunion, had one of these, and he was showing it to me. And I've always been looking for a small flashlight to carry with me. As somebody that has sight problems, there's times when I do need light. And you know you just can't carry a 3D cell mag light with you everywhere you go. So we opted to get this. This is the, we'll, we'll get closer. Olight Arkfeld Pro portable EDC flashlight with three light sources. And there's the picture on the box. It's made by Olight. I stuck that on the side. On the back here, this gives the specifications. I'll go slow and let you guys read this. Now let's look at the specifications here. The white light has five modes, moonlight, low, medium, high, and turbo. And it gives the number of lumens, the run time, the throw, and the candela, which I'm assuming is the light output. Uh, I'm not really that familiar with the terms. There's the specifications for the ultraviolet. And it talks about the dimensions here. It's 120 centimeters. Weight is 111 grams. Battery, 1500 milliamp hour. 3.7 volt lithium polymer battery patch contents Arkfeld Pro magnetic charger cable user manual and then this is some other stuff here uh, they have this in different colors this particular one I have here is the cool white 5700 to 6700 Kelvin. This is the this would be if you had the one for the neutral white, which is 4000 to 5000 Kelvin. It's a slightly warmer light. But anyway, this is what we're looking at here. Now, I've already unboxed it. There's paperwork in this box. This is the charger that came with it right here. It has a magnetic charger on the one end of it and the other end is a standard usb and you plug this into a uh, usb wall charger or computer as you can see here now when you do plug this in where the wire goes into it back here it's kind of translucent there when it's charging it's red when it's fully charged that will turn green now let's look at the light itself the light itself right here, as you can see, it's a pretty comfortable little design. It's flat. There's your magnetic tail cap. There's the ultrasonic cleaner. And the nice thing about the magnetic back on that is not only does it hold the charger in place, but you could stick this to something steel. There, see that? 
So if you wanted to use that and secure it under a situation where you might want it held, it has a dual uh, clip on it. So you can either store this in your pocket with that or this end of it. You could clip it like this to the bill of a hat. Now let's look at the light sources here. Let's look at the thing here. This is the cool white version. So you see there, that's your Kelvin rating. 5,700 to 6,700 Kelvin, which is a cool white. Kind of a bluish white. Arkfeld Pro. And if you could make that out, I'll hold it still. There's the belt clip. Now we'll flip it over. And there's your... Simple controls, it says Olight right on the side, nice textured sides. It has a danger because this does have a class three green laser pointer in it. There's the face of it there. The light on your left is your white light. The little laser pointer is in the middle. It's a green laser. And then the UV is the light on the right here. Um, when you get this initially, this comes in lockout mode. That way you can accidentally toggle this thing on while it's in your pocket or whatever. There's a selector switch right here with three positions. Uh, right now it's in white light mode. If you turn this switch to the middle, you'll get the green laser. And then all the way over, you get ultraviolet. Um, as you see, it's in lockout mode right now. In order to get it out of lockout, if you, if I try to turn this on now, it's it's on. But we're going to discuss how to. Let me put it into lockout mode. So the way you put it into lockout mode, we're going to do that now. You're going to press and hold. Now it is in lockout mode. This is how it would come when you get it out of the box. So if you press that button and nothing's happening, regardless of the setting it's on, you'll get that little red light. And no matter what you do, you can't accidentally toggle that on. To get this out of lockout mode, what you're going to simply do is you're going to hold this button for two seconds. And it's going to enter what they call moonlight mode, which is kind of a dim one lumen um, light. And it'll run for 11 days on that mode. Now, if you hit the button one time, that shuts it off. Hit the button again. It remembers that. It'll remember that setting. Now, if you hold the button down, there's low, medium, high, and off. And it will remember that position. So the next time you push the button, we're in high now. We're on high now. There's medium. We'll turn it off. Hit the button again. We're on medium. And it will do the same for low. Okay, we're in low. You can turn it off. Hit the button. It remembers low. If you triple, if you triple press the button, you'll get what's called turbo, which is the full 1,300 lumens. And uh, you only get four minutes of run time, and then it will taper back to... The medium setting which is 400 lumens you saw the chart earlier so triple tap now we get super bright turbo mode now if you turn it off and you go to turn it on again you get high you actually have to put it into turbo mode if you slip the switch to the middle like so now you've got your green laser. You can see it on the wall. It's kind of bright, so. But 
But if you've got it in laser mode and you double tap the button in the middle, now you have the white light and the green laser, which allows you to illuminate something while you're pointing at it. There's applications where that will come in. And again, if you hold down the, the button while you're in this mode, low, medium, and high, and if you click the button again, it turns everything off. Hit the button again, you get your green laser. And if you go with this setting here, all the way over, now we're in ultraviolet mode. So now we have a black light. This comes in handy if you're looking for like pet stains or if you want to check currency, check the cleanliness of a hotel room. It's a handheld black light. You can see there it's uh, pretty bright, but uh, it's pretty neat. So uh, without any further ado, let's go out back and I'll turn the lights out out in the backyard and we'll look at these lumens and uh, we'll, we'll show you exactly what it'll do in a darker environment. Okay, we're out in my backyard right now, and you can see some light from the shop window, but we're going to focus over here. There's no light. So right now we're going to turn the light on to white light mode. Okay, now let's unlock it. See, now we are in moonlight mode right there. And as you can see, even in moonlight, it's kind of a local light. Let's focus that way. There's low. As you can see, that's pretty oh, good. Turn my camera off by accident. Okay, you see we're in low mode right now. We hold it again. There's medium. I believe we're in medium mode right now. And as you can see, that's pretty bright. Now if we hold it again. Now we're in high mode. And as you can see, high is pretty darn bright. So we go back to low. Now we're going to triple tap. Now we're in turbo. This is turbo mode here. And as you can see, that has everything lit up pretty good. You press for off. You hit the button again. Now we're back in high. Now let's go with the green laser. On the back fence, you can see that's pretty vivid. If we double tap, you can see I've got that on high. Let's switch down to low. See, I'm illuminating and pointing at the same time. Medium, high, off. Hit the button again. You just have your green laser. Now we'll go to UV. And UV doesn't really do much out here. Like I said, it's more of a black light. But we'll shine it on my shoes and socks. And we got a bug. You can see that does pretty good. But anyway, let's go back to white light again. See how far that really goes. That shines pretty good. That's pretty bright. Let's go back to low. Now let's do turbo again. And there's turbo. Now if you double tap, now you've got a very disorienting st strobe light. Anybody that's epileptic that's watching this video, avoid this segment. Hit it again, we're off. 
and it will remember the setting. The strobe it won't remember, so it goes back to low, which is where I had it. We're gonna go to medium. And as you can see, that's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go back inside here. I actually need this now because uh, I turned the lights off to demo this. But as you can see, even at medium, that's pretty good. So we'll go to high and look at that throw. Now we'll go to turbo, triple. Now we've got turbo, but you get a very short run time with turbo and not to mention it gets pretty warm too. So we'll go back to high. We'll go back to low and uh, that's it. So now we're gonna put it back in lock mode. Hold, and then for two seconds, now we're in lock mode, I hit the button. You'll get that red indicator so you can't do anything. Okay, let's go back inside and wrap this video up. Okay, that concludes the test and uh, the little demo of this uh, flashlight. I think this is gonna be kind of a neat little thing to carry. As you can see, size-wise, it's not that big and uh, it fits in a pocket quite perfectly and it's flat designed, it's not bulky. Uh, that's gonna come in quite handy. Um, we'll see how it does as far as longevity goes. Uh, normally this is $99 for this model on Amazon, but I purchased this this week and it was prime day, so it was 20% off. So I got it for $79, you know, plus the tax and everything. But uh, it's solid aluminum, and it uh, is somewhat water resistant. I can't remember what the rating was exactly on it, but this is uh, all, all metal, all aluminum. Very good construction, not super heavy, not uncomfortable to hold, just like holding a remote. It's a very nice little light, and uh, yeah, as we go along and I use this more, we'll uh, update as we go. But anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Most importantly, please like and subscribe. If you're going to comment, please keep the comments respectable and on topic. And uh, as I said in my last video with the Toro and Honda, uh, trolls are not welcome here. This is a family channel. If you're going to troll, uh, save it because you will be removed but anyway please like and subscribe thanks for watching this video most importantly put your trust in the lord and we'll talk on the next video shop talk with brett signing out